Hi, in this video I'll show you how to extract hypertext or URLs from sentences within a table. I have a small table here and you can see that there's some URLs here and maybe these are survey responses. We want to extract out the URLs here. So for example, this one down here it says wikipedia.org. We want to extract that out and only that and put it into another column. Let's see how we can do this. We can go into data and from table range, it will automatically start the process of creating a table. You can do this individually by itself, but uh, when you go into data and from table range, if it's not set as a table, it will create a table. And the, my table does have headers. Click OK. The first row are headers. And it's going to bring it into the Power Query editor. Now here, what we need to do is we need to pull out the HTTPS or the HTTP, that's going to be the signifier that is going to indicate to us, hey, it's a URL. So what we can do is split it. Usually what I like to do is I like to keep this column to do double check, to do some troubleshooting. So I'll do right click and do duplicate this column and keep this column here and work on this column. And here what we're going to do is we want to split it out. So what we can do is split it by the HTTP. So right click and go to split by delimiter. So usually when you think about splitting by delimiters, you may be thinking by a single delimiter like a space, comma, etc. But you can split by a word when you think about it. So my delimiter is my word or my HTTP colon back French slash French slash. I'm going to use the leftmost delimiter option here. And I'm going to caveat this because there are so many different ways that sentences and text can be put into a text string column that I can't cover at all, but this probably will be the most common that you'll see, the most common entries that you'll see. So click OK. So you see here, we have them broken out, but you'll notice that there are some options here that aren't broken out. Well, this is a, this is a hypertext, this is a URL, and that's a URL. And uh, that's a URL. Why didn't it pick those up? Well, it didn't pick those up because these are HTTPS, the secure HTTP. We need to bring those into. So let's go back to the split column by delimiter. And we're going to adjust the M code a little bit. This is the M code. Uh, there's text.split column. And we want to edit this part. Splitter, split by each delimiter. We want to say split by any delimiter. So I'm going to remove each and put any. And with that in mind, now we want to replace the text by any delimiter. And we're going to put in, in quotes, HTTPS colon front slash front slash. Press enter. And now we've got the other ones here, right? Scoot, scoot this out a little bit. Scroll over here. And we want to look at our nulls and see if we missed anything. So if I click back on the original here, there is, and I look at the bottom here, this kind of tells you what content is in there. There's no URL there, that's fine. And look at this one. Oh, there's a URL there, and it's www. It doesn't have the HTTP. So let's go back into the split column by delimiter and add that in there. Comma, www. Press enter, and now we've gotten that. But there's something that's still missing when you think about it. If I look at my blank or nulls, okay, there's a blank here. Let's look at this. Oh, it's missed this because it has split both the HTTPS and www. But in the original command, when we used it in the ribbon, it proposed a response that copy dot one column and a copy dot two columns, basically just two columns. And we'll know that it has split it out based on these keywords. So instead of two columns, this could have been three columns. And we can adjust that. In addition to just providing the header here, which basically gives you a column that is named response copy dot one and response copy dot two, we can say maybe we need three columns. So what we can do is just replace that. And instead of having these column headers, effectively just type in the number three. So we're going to have three columns. Press enter. And now if I 
scroll over, we're going to have another column that has that. So in this column, this is before HTTP, HTTPS, or www, and this is afterwards, right? The, the URL. And in the third column, it had further text string that was separated from the three, HTTP, HTTPS, or www. Of course, the other ones had no because there was nothing after that, but this one did have something here. So we have Weebly. So what we can do here is merge these two now because we want to have that URL in the other URL columns or in the other in the other column that had URL. So press shift and select that column, that column, right click, merge. And we'll add them both together. The nulls will just add to the nulls there. We'll just call this merge for now. I'll keep the, the name there. And now we've got that and I have only a blank here and that is the one that did not have a URL. Now I can do some cleanup because if we look in our individual cells here, we can see that it's got the URL, but it's got some words, part of the sentence afterward. So let's clean that up. The other ones have the same thing. Select the column, right click, and we're going to do another split. We're going to split by space because there's a space in between the URL. So I'm going to take the leftmost delimiter and space. Click OK. And it's removed it. Now am I, my other extra, extra or extraneous sentences or words are gone. So I don't need that column anymore. Right click, remove. Insert step because I have this change step. I don't really need this. So I'll X that out to delete that step. Let me scroll over here now and look at my merge. So this looks okay, right? I just have my URLs there and I don't, I have that blank space. I can probably just take out that blank, remove blanks because I don't need them anymore. I just want to get, bring back the URLs and I have my URLs here. So now it's just basically clean up. So I can do, there can be spaces like after this. So I'll do a right click, transform, trim, and remove any spaces before or after this because I want to add a prefix to this now. I want to add the HTTP back in. But we're going to look and see one of them that is an issue here. This one. It's got a period after it. We don't want that. So go back into my trim and we're going to add a word here at each trim. I want to tr take out all those extra unnecessary um, things. But if you want to have more than one, because right now we're just taking out the space. If you want to have more than one, you have to have, you have to input this additional part of the code. And basically this underscore comma, it's going to let you do that. So I want to get rid of spaces and comma, I want to get rid of also period. So I have to put that in quotes. Press enter. And now my, uh, my period is gone. My space is gone. And everything looks just right here. Now I can just add a prefix. Go, go to transform, go to format, add a prefix, which is my HTTP http colon french slash french slash click ok and now i have my values there so i don't need the rest of these i just want to keep this column i'll call this hyperlink hyperlinks press enter and just right click remove other columns and where do you want to put this maybe we'll put this back into the sheet here close and load i'll put it back into the sheet here or maybe I'll put it at the bottom. Who knows? Uh, maybe just another table. Click table, new worksheet. And these are the hyperlinks that it pulled out from this list. Now, let's say this changed. Let's say I had, you know, we had a period in one of these, right? And let's say that instead of a period, we had a comma, right? That looks kind of weird to have a comma there. Let's drill down here. Now, let's say that this one is in the sentence. 
or we put a semicolon. God forbid a semicolon. Right. Press enter. We reload. Refresh. Does a semicolon show up? And yes, the semicolon shows up right here. Let's go into our query head editor and we want to add that in here. So I have to find that particular trim text and maybe here I'm going to put comma in quotes semicolon. Press enter, close and load. You should see that one disappear. So row four, that semicolon that was there disappeared. So that's the way that you can pull out hypertext links from a text column. And this might not apply to the different variations that you'll see. There's so many different variations that you might see. But the most common ones that you can probably see, HTTP, HTTPS, www. This is how you can do it. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.